My name is Amber Bryant, and I'm the project manager for the Partnership for Planning Education Research in STEM, PEERS Data Hub. The PEERS Data Hub is an NSF National Science Foundation funded project in collaboration with the American Educational Research Association, AERA, and the University of Michigan's Interuniversity Consortium for Political and Social Research, ICPSR. Those are a lot of acronyms, but don't worry, you can find everything you need to know about peers here on the About Us page of the website. But to start, let's explore a bit about what peers is about and what it has to offer from the homepage. On the homepage, you will first notice the navigation tab, discover, connect, learn, and each of these go to a different page that features the main functionalities of the website. If you keep scrolling, you will see the rotating carousel with the most recent and popular information related to the site. Further down, more navigation buttons to discover and connect learn functionalities. The home page ends with the news and upcoming events related to peers and the peers partners. You can always navigate to this section to find out about upcoming webinars and deadlines for some very interesting opportunities. The Discover functionality is an integral part of the entire purpose of the Hub, a way for education data to become visible and available to the research community. So let's start here to explore the website. Here you have a chance to search for both a data set or a variable. Let's click on data sets, archives, and databases. Data sets from here, oh, sorry. On this page, you see a search box along with search tips that allow you to type in variables and topics to discover available data sets. Data sets from here can be used for secondary analysis for almost any research question you can think of related to STEM and education research. Here are a few canned options that you can click just to try it out. Let's click one just to see. Here, we are seeing the results that include variables on students and student outcomes. You can see that today, there are 107 studies that you can choose from. Studies here are being uploaded every day to the ICPSR archive, so this number changes frequently. You can click on any title that you would like to view the data set. Some of them are openly available, and some of them do require a little bit more work and effort to access uh, restricted use data. Now let's go back to the main Discover page. You will also notice that we have identified several data sets that are organized by topic. These studies have already been hand selected for you to explore and analyze. Just to show a few. At the bottom, you will notice a list of relevant archives and databases outside of the Peers Data Hub that may also, that may also be useful to check out. Now let's take a look at the other Discover feature, search variables. Similarly to the last page, this page, has, this page has a search bar at the top that allows you to search for studies by variable name. The text box around it, compare variables, search tips for variables, help you to choose the most accurate way to search for what you are looking for. This is a great place to get started to just see what we hold. Now let's check out the connect feature. This page is designed for you to interact with the media and potentially other scholars like yourself. There are a list of podcasts that you can listen to hosted by peers related to education research. 
there is an interactive researcher gallery where you can create an online poster introducing yourself and your research to others. There are peers pods that can be created by anyone and really serve as small working groups related to research topics or even for writing accountability. Lastly, the connect feature allows you to post a question in the peers discussion forum to solicit responses from the community. Go ahead, give it a shot. It's always a great idea to network. Lastly, the learn feature. This function features resources for professional development, research and data management and stewardship, and related NSF funded institutes. Let's check out each one. The professional development and webinar page outlines a table of the past and upcoming peers webinars. Come here to find the links and the materials for past webinars, as well as registration links for upcoming webinars. It looks like we have one in a few days. So um, if you would like to join, please come to this page now. The resources and researchers feature, uh, the, re the research and resource feature shows top related peers research materials, including links to the AERA open repository, access to the best practices for managing data guide, as well as the pre-registration reads registry. Please come to this page and download anything that you like related to supporting your research. Data Management and Stewardship. This page outlines resources by topic related to doing research, how to share the data, pre-registering a study, managing your data plan, and much more. Come check it out and get the help that you need and deserve so that you can complete your research successfully. Lastly, the NSF Resource Institute link. This one shares the link to other funded National Science Foundation institutes that may be of interest to you. Feel free to come and check out any of these in your spare time. Lastly, the Peers Data Hub About Us page explains the goals of the Peers Hub, introduces both partner organizations ICPSR, and AERA, along with the peer staff and advisory board. At the bottom, you will find a list of partners and data providers, followed by a way to stay in touch by subscribing to the Peers Data Hub newsletter. These newsletters are typically sent out seasonally. Back to the home page. I hope this video was able to provide you with a brief overview of what the Pierce Data Hub has to offer. And we hope to see your name and email on our mailing list soon. Thank you for watching and happy researching. Bye-bye.